my name is Ray Taheri, and I am, as it was mentioned, a lecturer at the University of British Columbia. I'm from a very far distance, uh, perhaps a place that not many people know about Moldova. So as I said, I'm very far distance. Uh, however, in my heart, I feel very close to uh, Moldova and Moldovian people. I found Moldova a wonderful new country. Uh, it has a spectacular nature, breathtaking scenery. It's a country that has a lot to offer to its residents. And also I found Moldovian, very nice people, hospitable, uh, very humble, very hopeful and helpful. Uh, I came to Moldova about six years ago. I have some affiliation in Moldova. My wife is from Moldova and I fell in love with this country. And of course we know that uh, Moldova has lots of economical problems, but I admire Moldovian for being so strong uh, to pass day by day and I really have most respect for that. Также я считаю, что граждане Молдовы являются людьми с широким сердцем, очень гостеприимны и очень хорошие люди. Анна, шесть лет назад он приехал в Молдову, ему очень понравилась эта страна, он даже любился в нее. No, uh, on the other hand, you nice people, I know that you came to Moldova from four corners of the world. You know, I know some of you are from Syria, from Iran, from Afghanistan, from Kyrgyzstan, some of you are from African continent. Uh, I know that you come to Moldova because you left your motherland and your loved one behind due to value circumstances. I talked to a few of you, I know that some of you guys were in a civil war and you left everything behind and you came to this country with a sack of sorrow and sadness. So, uh, actually, you people, you face even more challenging problems because you are from different country, you have to learn a new language, you have to get to the culture, and you are even stronger than Moldovia. And I completely admire you for what you have accomplished. When I look at you, you all seem standing still with your heads up, and that is a sign of admiration. From my heart, I really admire you, and I have utmost respect for what you have accomplished in this country. Также я очень горжусь вами за то, что вы, даже если прошли через большие проблемы, больше проблем, чем является тут в Молдове, вы смогли пройти через эти, через войны, через все. И очень уважаю вас за это. So. Uh, as I can see that, you are all standing still and you have accomplished what you want. But I have to also salute you for one very important thing. And that is your union. You have been so connected to each other. And that's what has made you become so strong. And that is a sign of pride. If you have your union, nothing can break you. And this is what you are, the reason we are here for. We are here today, tonight, to celebrate this very holy union that you have established among each other. То, что является предметом восхищения, это ваше единство, ваш союз, который, от которого вы не отказываетесь, вы 
поддерживаете друг друга. И это является и смыслом этой встречи, ваш союз и ваше единство. You know, I traveled all over the world. I traveled to different countries in Africa and South Asia. Uh, I have to make this confession. Uh, in our planet, one billion people, they make less than one dollar a day. And 2.6 billion people, they make less than two dollars a day. Now, sometimes it occurs to me, so seven billion people, why the rest don't help these people? Sometimes I feel, oh, there are not many enough good people. But then when I search, I have come to this conclusion that there are more good people in the planet than bad people. No, why they don't help each other, there are two major reasons. Статистика показывает, что один миллиард людей в мире проживает за один доллар в день. Другие две с половиной миллиарда, они проживают за два доллара в день. Поэтому у меня возник вопрос, почему остальные люди, которые являются более благосостоятельными, они не помогают друг другу. И я нашел две, два главных мотива за этот вопрос. Now, the reason number one is those people, the good people, they are so wrapped in their own problem, they are so involved in their own cocoon of difficulties that they forget about the rest. That's reason number one. And my answer to them is, when good people keep silence, devil prevails. Два мотива. Первый мотив – это то, что э, люди слишком озаботены своими проблемами, и они не замечают других э, людей. Э, второй мотив – это то, что Сейчас в, нашей, в нашем мире зло превалирует, но это надеемся, что это изменится. And the reason number two is people say, well, what can I do? I'm a small guy, I make fifty dollars a day. How can I help? My answer to those people also is, every minute three kids, three children that die because of lack of sanitation, because of lack of access to basic medication like antibiotics. Even one dollar can save. So I think everyone should get together, no matter how rich or poor you are, get together, help each other to destroy poverty. And that is possible. Каждую минуту три человека погибают из-за недостатка пищи или недостатка главных медицинских помощи, услуг. Поэтому, если мы объединимся вместе, если мы поможем, даже если 10, эти 10 долларов, они могут помочь и изменить это. So I have one hand. If someone wants to give me his or her hand, then we can clap and we can make a sound. And this sound can resonate in this space through the air and in my other hand, get together and clap, and then that thing can start to move. And this is possible. An ocean of love and peace start from the very start, beginning drop it. Если я предложу свою руку другому человеку, и мы вместе будем хлопать этими руками, потом другие присоединятся к этому, значит у нас получится большой звук. Так также аналогично можно объединиться вместе, чтобы помочь другим людям, которые нуждаются в помощи. So I don't want to take too much of your time. At the end, first of all, I would like to acknowledge uh, two people that made this is possible, my colleague at university, my good friends and families, especially uh, Farza and Saba in Toronto. Uh, I have other friends here. We have Professor uh, Ali Mohammed Far, and we have our uh, good friend, Dr. Mohini. And most of all, we would like to thank uh, Dr. Javid and his staff, wonderful staff, for making this possible. И чтобы не отвлекать вас, не, не брать у вас слишком много времени, я бы хотел поблагодарить своих близких друзей и коллег, господина Фарзада и Сафа, которые за свою помощь и за свои вклады, чтобы организовать этот вечер, а также профессор Али и доктор Макини, за, также за их вклад. Не в последнюю очередь я бы хотела поблагодарить господина Джамбита и своих сотрудников, которые делали, организовали 
As I said, I'm very far distance, but my heart is very close to you. I will never forget about you, and I will keep thinking about you, and hopefully next year we'll come back with a better program. God bless you, and I love you all. Thank you very much. Благослови и спасибо вам за ваше внимание.